Hello, welcome to Catholic TV series. My name is Saizia. I am a technical marketing engineer from Catholic's 9000 searching team. In this video, I would like to introduce Catholic's 9600X. Before I start Catholic's 9600, let's take a look on Catholic's 9000 portfolio. We have Catholic's switching family series from 9200 to 9600. Recently, we have added X factor to the family. Now we have got this 9300X, 9400X, 9500X, and 9600X. Among those platforms, Catholic's 9500X and 9600X come with new Cisco Silicon One Q200 ASIC. So let's talk about this ASIC first. Cisco Silicon One Q200 ASIC is the industry leading ASIC for the switching and routing, and it is the first. 7 nanometer ASIC which provide better power consumption. It also comes with multi-slide architecture and it is fully programmable. It provides provide TBPS full duplex bandwidth and it has 8.1 billion packet per second processing power. It can also have very deep packet buffer with 8 GB of high buffer memory. So this is the ASIC that we're going to use on new Catholic's 9600A supervisor. So now let's take a look on the current 9600 series. We have Supervisor 1, which provides 4.8 TPPS full duplex total capacity, which relate to 1.2 TPPS full duplex per line cut slot. What that means is it can support 12 port or 100 gig in line rate in a single slot. Now we are bringing 9600H Supervisor Engine 2, which provides total capacity of 12.8 TBPS full duplex, which provides 3.2 TBPS full duplex per slot. So this is almost three times better performance compared to Supervisor 1. With Supervisor 2, it can now support 32 port 100 gig line rate in single line slot. In addition to the supervisor, we also introducing new combo line card. This line card have both uplinks, including 400 gig port, as well as downlink ports. This is the first line card in Catholic's 9600 series, which provide different port speed within the single line card. I will discuss more about this line card in coming slides. Let's first take a look detail on supervisor two. Supervisor two have a single silicon one ASIC, which provide 12.8 TBPS for the whole Catholic 9600 chassis. It comes with 8 core CPU, 32 gig of RAM. Like Supervisor 1, it doesn't have uplink ports on the Supervisor. The two SAP Plus ports you see on the right side of the Supervisor is a management port to the CPU. We can use this for the management port as well as application hosting traffic. It comes with the standard RJ45 console and RJ45 management port. It has two front panel USB ports for additional storage. And also we have SATA storage drive for application hosting. Now let's take a look on Catholic's 9600 line card. We already have four line card available on 9600 series, such as 100 gig line card, 25 gig line card, 1 gig fiber line card, and multi gigabit line card. Each line card slot have same type of speed on all their port. With new combo line card, we have 40 port of SAP56 for downlink port, and two port of QSAP56, as well as two port of QSAP-DD for uplink requirement. With the new line card, we don't need to use separate line card for uplink and downlink requirement. So this line card will save the requirement of additional line card for the user. Another great thing about the line card is it support on both Supervisor 1 and Supervisor 2. With Supervisor 2, all ports will be available up to 3.2 TBPS. With Supervisor 1, we can now get up to 1.2 TBPS with the same line card because this is the limitation of the Supervisor bandwidth bus slot in Supervisor 1. Here's a detail for the line card. With Supervisor 2, all ports are supported, I'd, I'd say. Today, 50 gig and 200 gig is not support yet. It is hardware capable, and we will support this speed when the 50 gig and 200 gig optics are available. With Supervisor 1, 
4D ports are supported up to 25 gig and two port 100 gigs is available with Supervisor 1 and the same line card. One thing I like to point out here on this uh, line card is it comes with new CDR5M5. The, this file can support the encryption such as a MagSec and one MagSec as well as it support BTP and headless marks. So the reason is Silicon One A6 doesn't support encryption engine with Supervisor 2. So encryption will be done in the file level. Here's a virtual representation of the port and speed support with Supervisor 1 and Supervisor 2. So Supervisor 2 was support with starting with 70.71 release and Supervisor 1 was support with 70.81 release. Okay, now we have talked about new Supervisor, new line card. What about existing generation 1 line card with new Supervisor? The investment protection is always important. Right? So now look at it here. Both Supervisor 1 and Supervisor 2 are using centralized architecture. That means line card only have five. All the forwarding decisions are done at the supervisor level. So all the generation one line card can support with supervisor two. One exception is the one gig fiber line card we have already have today is not support with supervisor two because supervisor two doesn't support one gig speed today. Okay. So one great benefit with generation one line card with supervisor two is we're going to have bandwidth increasement within this using same line card. So 24C line card can now support all 24 port in 100 gig speed. With Supervisor 1, the same line card was only supported 12 port or 100 gig port. Similarly, 48YL line card can support up to 50 gig speed with this new Supervisor 2 when 50 gig optics is available. There's one drawback in this combination. Generation 1 line card will lose MagSec capability when using with Supervisor 2. So as I mentioned earlier, Supervisor 2 doesn't have encryption engine on the ASIC and Generation 1 line card doesn't have MagSec capable file like Generation 2 line card. So for that reason, if you are using Generation 1 line card on Supervisor 2, MagSec will not be available. Alright, so here is a summary of Supervisor and line card support metric. This slide summarizes everything I talked about earlier. Remember, Supervisor 2 doesn't support 1 gig or below speed today. So please position Supervisor 1 if 1 gig downlink is required. Okay, so for the positioning perspective, we now have Supervisor 1 and Supervisor 2. Supervisor 1 is a feature optimized and it is ideal for Catholic 6500 and 6800 series non XL deployment migration. It is suitable for campus school, collab school, plus aggregation. And on the other hand, we now have Supervisor 2. It is op performance optimized. It is ID for 6, Catholic 6500 and 6800 XL deployment. And this will be best fit for the campus school plus internet edge deployment. All right. So this is my quick update for Catholic 6600 CD. If you are looking for more in-depth information, we have plenty of resources available. Here is some of the useful link for Catholic 9600 series. I hope this video is informative and thank you for watching.